If you're a dropshipper who's posting videos and getting low views and no sales, maybe you see other accounts going viral and you're wondering what you're doing wrong and you're tempted to quit. Don't quit. Just watch this video to the end. In this video, we're going to look at new accounts that started within the last month and have had several of their videos go viral. I'm going to break down exactly what they did so that you can replicate their success. But before we get into the video, if you like videos about freelancing, dropshipping, Shopify, themes, apps, and tutorials. Do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into the video. The first account I want to take a look at is this one. This is a one product store slash account featuring this AliExpress product. It essentially turns any container and liquid into a humidifier. This account is new. It posted its very first video only five days ago. The first video has 4,935 views, which is great for a new account, but look at the video number two. Video number two goes viral right now, 2.1 million views. So what took this video from a few thousand views to a few million? I'm going to show you video number one with 4,935 views and it has a fantastic scent. They used an original sound from Barstool Sports and the video footage is a demonstration of the product being used in a bottle of Fanta. This video is eight seconds long. Video number two with 2.1 million views has the text TikTok made by it. They've used an original sound by Grandis Girl and we see a similar demonstration of the products being used in that same bottle of Fanta. This video is 15 seconds long. Look at these two videos side by side, they're very similar. This video footage was likely shot all at the same time and has just played with different clips. I think what most people end up doing in the situations when they post a video and it gets low views is they scrap it and say, oh, this video didn't work. I better come up with something better next time. No, you're making it way harder than it needs to be. What you should be doing is what this person has done and that's just to make small tweaks to your video. Him changing the music, making the video slightly longer, changing the text, switching up the footage a little, any one of those things could have been the key factor in him turning this video with a few thousand views into a few million views. Ideally, when you do this, you want to tweak maybe one or two things at a time so that you can begin to pinpoint what exactly it is that's giving you that viral push so that you can apply it to your other videos. But at the end of the day, it worked for this creator. That's key number one. But let's take another look at this account because I want to show you something else. This creator was posting three videos per day on day two when he posted these three videos. At this point, he's posted four variations of this Coke bottle one and it's kind of stuck at that five to seven thousand view range. So he moves on and tries out a different drink. This video where he uses a Starbucks frap drink is his next highest viewed video with 12.4k. You can see that there is another variation of this video over here and it doesn't do as well but he continues to tweak it and this one gets 35k and this one here gets 11.5k views and up here we can see the fanta drink one again with another 70k view so the key takeaway here is to double down on the videos that are doing well if you notice a video doing significantly better than the others posted around the same time you're onto something just tweak it slightly and post it one last thing before we move on to the next account, be careful of what's going viral for the wrong reasons. There are a few examples on this account where the creator is purposely misspelling the words or doing suggestive things. Even the fact that he's putting the product in the soda drinks is not the intended use for the product. The majority of these comments are just talking about how impractical it will be and how it would make everything sticky and attract bugs. It's bringing in a lot of comments, which of course boosts engagement and brings in more views, but this type of virality is not going to lead to sales. If your whole marketing plan is based on shock value, you wouldn't go very far. You'll get viral views, but they wouldn't convert to sales. So don't fall for these viral gimmicks. I'm showing you this account to educate you and to show you what they're doing right, not to encourage you to create similar content because I wouldn't recommend this at all. Let's take a look at another account. This account is the Chillbot. This account posted its very first video on September 9th. It started as a one product account slash store. They've since expanded, but they started out with this product here. It keeps your beverages cool so that you can slow down and enjoy your beverage at a nice cool temperature without watering it down with ice. Ironically, this product, although it's not the same, has a similar shape to the previous account and he could have gone with that same shock value slash suggestive route, but he didn't. And I believe this account is getting sales as a result. In fact, we can see by this comment here that the content is reaching its target audience and people want to buy. So 
this is good content definitely check out his account later for inspiration if we look at the first 17 videos and seven of these videos were in the same kitchen setting with the same red bowl full of ice and the same beverage has got nearly 1 million views on the first two videos 2.7 million views here and 7 million here so again it just goes to show you you don't have to create a new brand new video with brand new footage for every single video just make small tweaks here is one video with 2.7 million views and another with 7.1 million views. What's the difference? Both responded to a comment. Both videos are using the exact same video. The only difference is that this, in this one, he has muted the sounds from his original video and in this one he hasn't. So you can hear him pouring the ice and popping the top of the beverage. This one is 16 seconds long. This one is 20 seconds long. The biggest difference that I can see is the switch up in footage, but you can tell this was all likely filmed at the same time. He just recorded everything he's doing, which is very smart, and he's using it to piece together new videos. My final piece of advice for now is to not give up. I see it so often. People will be super excited. They will post their videos, they'll get low views, they make zero sales, and then they give up. But after only posting a few videos. Look at this account here. This is another one product store slash account. They sell this travel razor that has everything you need to shave. It contains a mister, a moisturizing soap, and two razors. They've posted their very first video on September 12th. It is October 14th today, so just over a month later, and most of these videos are below a thousand views. And at the same time that these videos were posted, the views were, of course, much lower. So, what if after four videos, this creator was like, it must be the product, these videos aren't doing well, I'm giving it my all, I'm not making any sales, and they quit. Their very next video got almost 250,000 views. Then their videos went down again, and then they got 706,000, and then they're down again for the longest streak yet of eight videos, and then she gets 18,000 views, then seven videos again with lower views, and then they get their highest viewed video yet at 3.5 million views. This creator has made a total of 64 videos since starting on September 12th, which averages out to about two videos per day. This is a one product account, so they could have had every excuse to quit. They could doubt their products. They could run out of content ideas. They could have thrown in the towel and said it wasn't working but they didn't. They kept going and every so often one of their videos takes off. All in all, my advice is don't give up. Pay attention to the videos that outperform others posted around the same time and double down on those type of videos and also make small tweaks to your videos. Put this into practice today by using your existing footage and making small changes by changing the music, changing the footage, reply to a comment, change the text and others. Try it out and let me know how it goes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content. So make sure you have notifications turned on so that you can be one of the first to market when we post those videos.